How's it going, everyone? So I actually finished this unit here. Uh, it's beautiful. I'm very satisfied with it. Not to toot my own horn on that, but uh, it turned out quite well. Uh, we're going to figure something out with these yet. I've got some things in mind. There's nuts and uh, bolts, right? So I want to maybe just put a piece of this on the nut and on the nut, maybe a half inch. And they'll work as feet. When I go to put that on, it, it sandwich it in between the other two cutting boards and uh, start building a stack like, like one of these, right? Like this device here, you know, with the multiple levels. Okay, so, uh, but because I'm uh, drawn to exotic things, well, here's my next exotic. And, um, well, what is it? This is uh, another version of a step-down transformer, a high-voltage step-down transformer. So if you had a air core long primary to lower the voltage, this would be like um, in place of uh, the output transformer, uh, like this guy with the uh, three turns or whatever on here. This is the primary, and your secondary would be a step-down to increase your amperage, lower your voltage, common uh, transformer action. This is a little different, but this uh, achieves uh, the same result, but probably with far superior results. I haven't tested it yet, but understanding what I do and uh, what's going on and uh, whatnot, um, yeah, this would be great. So I would, uh, this is like what, a two and a half inch tube or something, maybe it's three inch. I would reduce that down to maybe like two inch or inch and a half and uh, center it between the cores. You can see I've got two cores here. I've got two cores here. Uh, ignore these windings. They're just, uh, these cores are representing the bell bar, you know. You've got the, the, the bell bar. So uh, whatever side of the coil is the hot side, whatever side of the coil is the cold side, uh, the cold side, your amps, will be located at the harmonic node and uh, now this can work in in two two ways disruptive discharge or harmonic resonance and uh, it really disruptive discharge is really simple you could literally fill this um, entire uh, area of ferrites and on these ferrites could be wound you know three turn coils say say three turns this way right <laughs> because the goal here is that the energy flowing down the wire makes a magnetic field right when it's in resonance it makes nodes of an amperage node on the low side and a voltage node on the high side that's demonstrated in many videos you can see that on youtube um, so uh, with disruptive discharge the idea is it's radiating like, an, like a radio signal, except scalar, extremely fast, in a nanosecond, uh, tremendous broadcast, and you're probably not going to slow this thing down much when it's air core like this. And it could go a little further and put another ferrite rod or something inside of this. I mean, there are many designs for this step-down transformer. But you could fill this with ferrites, however many kilowatts you want, uh, turn this to whatever turn ratio you want as a reduction. The magnetic field that's generated on this coil that's radiating outside of the coil if it's in resonance or if it's being blasted out, broadcast, is cutting through these ferrites. So that's trapping the magnetic field and causing it to rotate uh, depending where, where it is. And then you've got your uh, winding cutting it here. And this, this winding will also, the, on the near side to this coil, on the inside of the ferrite, will be cutting this transmission by 90 degrees. All right, another bonus. So um, uh, basically, you can configure this in volts and amps. You can configure this in disruptive discharge cylinder. So if, you know, you went and got 10 of these and uh, your turning ratio was something like, say it was 100 to 1, you would reduce your voltage by 100 times and increase your amperage by 100 times. And for each 
uh, that's per turn. So if you put 100 turns here and you put one turn across the, the loop uh, transformer, then you're going to have uh, 100 times increase in amperage, 100 times decrease in voltage. So if you did two or three turns in opposite directions, you're going to double the voltage. And I have another special winding technique. It's called the MK2 design. I didn't design it. Uh, the originator that presented it public didn't design it, but uh, it's the most awesome. And it's a back winding, so uh, I may employ that, and it gives me double the voltage. So what happens is that I collect the magnetic field in both directions on half of the core. So uh, hmm, to explain that easily to you, I, I'll have to do that in another video. It's just a different winding technique that I could employ that will double my voltage. And then I would fill this ring with as many copies of that same partnered paired opposite wound coils, whether they're MK2 style, double tapping in this direction, double stepping in that direction, giving four times the increase in voltage of one coil. So I can easily do that. I mean, it's just, just that's not hard to do. But... Uh, we don't want to bring the voltage up, we want to bring it down. 